Kaliningrad, known in Russian fairy tales as the 39th Kingdom, is the 39th administrative region of the Russian Federation. Located strategically between Poland, Lithuania, and the Baltic Sea, this Russian enclave is now garnering international attention due to a massive uprising against Putin's regime. Key features of Kaliningrad, strategic and military importance. As Russia's only year-round ice-free port in the Baltic Sea, Kaliningrad holds military significance. Home to the Russian Baltic Sea Fleet and housing nuclear missiles, it is strategically positioned close to Europe's major capitals. Center of Amber Trade Kaliningrad is at the heart of the global amber trade, boasting around 90% of the world's amber reserves. Recent Developments Kaliningrad, a bustling city, stands as the Western rebel of Mother Russia, holding Western-like values, often viewed as more European than Russian. However, it's currently in a state of crisis. Under the Baltic Republican Party's banner, activists seek to liberate the region from Moscow's grip. The situation is further intensified by the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. Incidents in cities like Kalin and Grod can potentially push Kaliningrad to secede from Moscow. Historically, the Prussian city of Konigsberg, it has been under Russian control since 1-2's end. Activists believe it's high time for this unique region to align with Europe, support Ukraine, and denounce Putin's rule. Statements and Forecasts Rustam Vasilyev, the leader of the Baltic Republican Party, is confident that Kaliningrad's separation from Moscow is imminent. He critiques Russia's erasure of the region's historical name Konigsberg, emphasizing its German origins. With the backdrop of growing discontent with Putin's policies, Vasilyev highlights the sentiments of Kaliningrad's 430,000 residents who resonate more with Western values. Recent polls reveal an intriguing twist in Russian President Vladimir Putin's ambitions. A March referendum indicates a growing desire for secession and an independent state among Kaliningrad's populace. The survey results show that a staggering 72.1% of Kaliningrad's residents wish to exit the Russian Federation. The situation in Kaliningrad remains volatile. Its eventual outcome will undeniably have ripple effects in the region and potentially on the global stage. The crisis within Konigsberg, Rustam Vasilyev, the Baltic Republican Party leader, raises concerns about the Konigsberg region, also known as Kaliningrad, becoming a North Korea in the Baltic Sea. The enclave faces internal and external isolation, with the Kremlin maintaining tight control. Separatist sentiments and military dissent. Soldiers from Kaliningrad, originally meant to defend Russian territories, have been controversially deployed to Ukraine. Social media in March was ablaze with a video showing these soldiers defiantly raising the rebel flag and questioning the motives of Putin's war in Ukraine. While they were loyal to Russian territory defense, they displayed a strong resistance to attacking Ukrainian villages. Their statements in the video showcase rebellion and discontent. However, pleas from the soldiers' families, directly addressing Putin for their safe return, seemingly fell on deaf ears. Kaliningrad's European roots Vasilyev stresses Konigsberg's European identity. Founded in 1255 as a Prussian settlement, it became East Prussia's capital, hosting ceremonies for the Prussian monarchy. Between 1466 and 1657, the city was under Polish reign. Russia took control in 1945, renaming it Kaliningrad. Despite this, Vasilyev points out Putin's diminishing control over the region, especially after his defeat in Ukraine. Anti-Western propaganda, Moscow and local Kaliningrad authorities are propagating anti-Western sentiments, attempting to sway the local population. This strategy, according to Vasilyev, poses a significant threat to Europe. Wider implications in Russia Kaliningrad's rebellion reflects broader unrest across Russia. Following the declaration of mobilization by Russian leaders, revolts have erupted. Russian men, opposing participation in Putin's war, are bolstered by support from their families and women nationwide growing discontent within Russia. Uprisings are surging across key Russian centers. Particularly in Moscow, the Russian army's discontent is palpable. Soldiers, facing shortages of equipment, ammunition, and even basic food have staged riots. A concerning development last month saw Russian soldiers refusing to sign contracts to fight for Wagner. Disturbingly, those who declined mysteriously vanished, revealing a deeper layer to the ongoing revolts. As these tensions escalate, Putin's control appears to waver, and Russia inches towards social disintegration. The world now watches keenly, speculating on the Russian leader's next move. 
Kaliningrad and NATO's apprehensions. Kaliningrad has always been on NATO's radar, leading to multiple potential scenarios. Collapse of Lukashenko's regime. A definitive Russian defeat in Ukraine could topple Alexander Lukashenko's regime. Should Russia stop its economic aid to Belarus, it may instigate crises, strikes, and civil unrest. This turmoil could culminate in sections of the armed forces switching allegiances. In this fray, the Belarusian volunteer forces currently fighting against Russians in Ukraine might become crucial game-changers. A change in Belarus's stance would place the Russian garrison in Kaliningrad in jeopardy. Isolation of Kaliningrad With the Russian military already stretched thin due to its involvement in Ukraine, Kaliningrad could find itself encircled by antagonistic forces. Poland and Lithuania may join hands to pressurize the enclave, slowly turning its situation akin to the Russian outpost in Transnistria, Moldova. Economic sanctions could cripple overland imports, forcing reliance on shipping. However, Russian ships might struggle to find accommodating foreign ports. Russia's tenuous hold. A middleweight scenario sees Russia defeated in Ukraine, but Belarus causing disturbances. The Kremlin would then look to expand its influence over Kaliningrad and the EU. Yet, this link would be fragile and perpetually on the verge of snapping. Ukrainian War's Pivotal Role The Ukrainian War will undeniably mold upcoming scenarios. The unfolding events on its front lines will bring the truths to light. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it both enlightening and engaging. Please give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe for more insightful content. Your support is invaluable. Stay tuned for our next video, and until then, take care.